Yo, so today we're gonna check out some tips on how to create R&B style guitar with the Ample Sound plugins. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're gonna start with just uh, some basic chords. The plugins from Apple Sound already sounds great, but this is what we started with. I'm using the Ample Guitar SH. You can use any Ample Guitar you want. And some other guitar plugins we might also work. The most important thing is our key switches. So we're gonna take those basic chords and we're gonna turn them into this. With the music. So let's check it out. I'm gonna copy this just called clip. Let's move it here. Actually here, so we don't have anything. Let's loop it Command L. Let's hit Z to zoom in. Awesome. And I'm also gonna delete this media effect. We're gonna make it our own. And this is what we have right now, just like a basic, uh, really cool, I love these chords, but just a basic progression. So what's beautiful about this plugin straight up, and I'm not sponsored by them, although I'm open to it, um, is that it's already limiting the playing when transferring from just basic piano chords to guitar. So it does the voicing, it does the limitation of the strings and everything already. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, it's awesome. Now, this, similar to other multi-sampled libraries like contact stuff, does have key switches here on the bottom in octave zero, uh, which can transform in all sorts of ways. We, if we look here, uh, let's go to zero. So I already have one here, which will just play the open, uh, just play regular strumming or regular picking, sustain. Here, if I move here, it's gonna do uh, harmonics. Here is palm mute. Uh, we have some slide and also gliding, sliding, or holding the notes. And a bunch of other stuff, which are awesome. But just with these, we can create some really cool uh, things. So let me close the plugin. Okay, uh, let's start uh, sustain. Then let's slide, like right here. Why are we on triplets? Okay, start. And uh, let's change the velocity here. So it's a bit more gentle. Let's go overtones right here. Mm, and then we want palm mute. Nice, let's do the same. So sustain, slide, or gliding, or uh, just going down, overtones, and uh, palm mute. Beautiful, love it. Now, what we want is probably some extra movement right here um, in between. So what we can do is we can, of course, use all the Ableton Live 12 new stuff transformation tools, but if you're on 11, you can still do it. Let's go and go to our device view. I'm gonna go under MIDI effects. Let's load an arpeggiator. You can use any style. I like the Diverge, really nice for this type of things. And let's bring the gate all the way up so the notes are as long as they can be. And I'm only gonna turn it on. Let's automate this. Let's take our, oops, let's take our pencil with B. We're only going to automate it here. Nice, amazing. Now, if I want to give some, uh, let me open up both of them. If I want to have some key switches while the arpeggiator is playing, I need to make sure that this octave is not being arpeggiated. So I'm going to go to the arpeggiator, group it, open up the chain list, Create another chain, it's gonna be our key switches. And I'm gonna open up the key zone and limit the top one to all the way to C1 and the bottom one all the way to B0. So now this one doesn't have an arpeggiation happening on it. So if I wanna add some notes here for key switches, it will still uh, give us those immediately without needing to hold them to wait until the arpeggiator is triggering them. So much more dynamics. I can also maybe take out here at the end and do something like, let's go to this note. I am overlapping these two, so they have this hammer on or pull off uh, that is happening automatic thanks to this amazing plugin. Um, let's uh, also turn off our arpeggiator. Let's bring down command option three. It's a new shortcut in Live 12. Let's 
uh, ARM, let's say, automate the on-off of the arpeggiator, whoops, to close here. Mm, but I want them to be palm muted. Nice, let's do the same here, but we'll do something a bit faster with, uh, let's type palm mute as well. And maybe something like this, we go up and hammer on at the end. And maybe we'll even add some gliding or something. Let's maybe something like this. We'll see if that works. We'll do, we will have again to turn off the arpeggiator there at the end. Let's see. Nice. Love it. Uh, so as you can see, the key switches are so essential to get more dynamics, more movement, this variation of modern guitarists who are essentially controlling all different techniques of playing the guitar with the finger style, with strumming, picking, everything at the same time, overtones, tapping, uh, crazy stuff. So um, ample guitars, plugins are amazing for this, but there's other ones in the market. Now just to go over with what I added to the music, if you guys are interested, uh, it's just an electric piano here playing the same chords. This is from Labs, free uh, electric piano from uh, Labs. I added some Terolo, Lo-Fi plugin. This is free from Cymatics and some saturation. Here we just have a sample <coughs> that I repitched. Yeah, I repitched seven semitones and added some filtering and auto panning and delay. Gentle, kind of like a uh, intro sound. This is a melody I recorded with the synth. I reversed the MIDI, then I resampled it and reversed it back. So this is the melody I've played, but each note sound is reversed. And also uh, automated the panning right here. As right, so we got the sub. And we got also electric bass. This is from Contact Rickenbacker, which I love the sound of. And we're just kind of completing each other. Nice. And the drums are just uh, individual samples. What well, we got? Kick and snare here. Nice. And with a loop. And some uh, uh, toms. 808 toms. So together, let's listen from the beginning. No key switches. Then we're going to the key switches uh, style uh, with a guitar. And that's it. Uh, I'll catch you next time.